Kana and the Missing Koi by Noni Gross. Kana reached into the pond. There were no water lilies, only plain green reeds. Kana had seven koi, one for each of her birthdays. Koi bring good luck. So Kana was very lucky. But her koi fish were not. They had to swim in the hot, hot sun. Kana said, poor little fish, someday you will have lily pads to hide under. One by one the koi fish swam to her. There was one black koi, a freckled koi, another spotted all silver and gold, and three bright orange koi. That made six. Where was number seven? The silver one. Kana tapped her toes. She blew air out her nose. This is what Kana did when she was thinking. She looked on the ground for clues. There were puddles of water on the large rocks and a frog flicking his long tongue. Aha, she said as she chased the big bellied frog. You must have eaten my fish. I'll put you in my brother's aquarium. Then my fish will be safe. Kana nabbed the frog. Holding him tightly, she followed the long path home. Kana took the frog inside. The next morning, Kana ran to the pond. She counted the fish. One freckled, another spotted, all silver and gold, three orange. That's only five! Now where was the black fish? Kana stomped her foot. She blew out her nose. She tried to find clues. There she saw a bunch of reeds. They were knocked over and bent. Her cat Pineapple sat under a lola fern licking its paws. Aha, said Kana. Pineapple, you must have eaten my fish, the cat purred. Kana said, bad kitty, I'll put you in the house. There are no fish in there. Kana carried the cat home. She took Pineapple inside. Evening came. Kana checked the pond before bed. She counted. One spotted all silver and gold, three orange. Hey, that's only four! The freckled fish was gone! Kana blew air through her nose so hard it whistled. She folded her arms and stomped her foot. How were her fish disappearing? There were footprints in the sand and a large iwa bird sitting on a nest of twigs. The nest was in the banyan tree. Aha, said Kana. You are the only one here. You must have eaten my fish. Kana didn't know what to do. It was getting dark. She hoped the birds did not eat in their sleep. But it was bedtime. Kana would have to come back in the morning. Early the next day, her dog Lupo barked to go outside. This gave her an idea. Kana took Lupo to the pond. Speak, Lupo. Woof. The dog barked. The bird squawked and flew away. But Kana still worried. She was running out of fish and running out of luck. Kana hid behind the Kiko shrub. She took out her spyglass. Kana watched and she watched and she watched. Woof! barked Lupo. Kana jumped. There was something at the edge of the pond. She looked through her spyglass. It was only the neighbor boy, Noe, and he wasn't scared of Lupo's bark. He scratched behind Lupo's ear and left. Kana thought of all the clues. The puddles of water, the bent reeds, and the footprints. Could they be Noe's? Kana followed the boy through the Kiko shrubs. She tiptoed through the Lola ferns. Then she crept by the banyan trees. Kana followed him right into his backyard. Noe was throwing something orange into his lily pool. Kana ran to the pool. She saw the silver koi, the black koi, the freckled koi, and one bright orange koi. Oh, my fish! Kana cried. Then she got really mad. How could you take my fish? Your fish? Noe asked. He shrugged. I found these koi. They had to swim in the hot, hot sun. I brought them here. It's nice and cool under my lilies. And they bring good luck, you know. Kana tapped her toes. 
She wanted her fish to be happy, but she wanted to take them home. Connor looked down. Something shiny was stuck to a lily pad. Look! Connor pointed to the shiny glob in the water. My fish laid eggs in your pool! Soon they will hatch. You will have a thousand lucky fish. No, he said. I have many lilies. I will give you a few. It's a deal. They shook hands. Koi may or may not be lucky, but they catch great friends. And now they're happy. The end. If you're interested in purchasing this book or seeing more from Noni Gross, you can visit www.nonigross.com and subscribe for more.